still lagging, huh, Mallory? I just tried resetting it. Really frustrated with this stream right now. Of course, Kimbo's home sleeping. I can't call him. So let's just go back on board and see what happens. Do the best we can with it. All right, we got Lucas and Mike up two, two to one. And uh, Tim Levine and Rob trying to come back in a race to 11. All right, Rob has a tough shot here. Looks like he's going to try to bank it and draw it back for the shot on the five ball. He does, he draws a little too hard, but not bad considering what he was left with there. Timmy obviously a little bit off right here. He has ball, he had ball in hand. He could have got him a little better than that. And he cuts that a little too much into the rail and leaves their opponents a long shot, but very makeable. And if he makes this shot, he's gonna have position for the six ball. All right, Robert on the five ball. He's gonna have a little tricky situation to get between the seven and the six ball, but I don't see an issue here. All right. I think he left them behind the seven ball. Let's change the angle, let's see what happens here. All right, he did, he left them a really tough shot. He's gonna to have to thin this ball to either bank it or play it safe. Tim Levine is at the six ball. All right, he, he, it looks like he could have made it. Unfortunately, he did not, but he got a really, really good leave out of it. So now the team of 2.0 and Lucas Lacasso Werner is going to have to do something. Mike looks like he's setting up for the bank. It looks like he's lining it up. He wants to see if he can make this. All right, he does not, he plays the shot perfect. He plays it two rails and sticks him behind the seven ball. Um, he might be able to see this. I don't know if he's gonna be able to cut it in the corner, but we're gonna find out. All right. And just so you guys know, I'm going to be quiet here for a quick second. I'm going to watch on my Facebook. I want to see if it's lagging here and how bad it is. I'd hate to cut this stream off, but I cannot have it being that bad or we can't be watching it. All right. And Rob scratches right in the corner and leaves Lucas Picasso Verna ball in hand. I don't see any issue here with these two guys. Running this rack. All right, nice stroke by Michael. Leaves Lucas a little bit straight, but that's not going to be an issue. All right, so here it is. Straight shot on the eight. He's going to draw this ball back, I'm thinking. Just like that. And nice spin little much right there leaves him a long cut he's gonna have to stretch over the table he pointed to where he wanted to be he did not be there Michael being a lefty probably gonna help him out here I think a little bit uh, and he does cut it right in nice shot by Michael all right taking a 3-1 lead against Pearson and Levine And again, we want to apologize for all this lagging that we're getting here. We're trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, not 100% sure. We'll get more on it with our IT guy tomorrow to make sure we're ready to go for the Joss Tour. And, of course, our MD Productions 9-Ball Partners Tournament. 
this Saturday. And if you want to join up for that, you can do so on MD Production Nine Ball Series. You can do that anytime between now and Thursday. So come on down and join up for that. All right, Lucas Picasso Werner breaking and cue ball flying off the table. And hit that really bad. Um, he checked the rack, so I'm sure the rack was good. It's not like he can say it was a bad rack. He looked at it. And uh, Rob's got ball in hand here. Now, Rob has a situation where he either tries to break this two ball out or he can play a safe, maybe get him on three. So that's what he's looking at right now. All right, guys, any change? We still lagging out there? Can you hear me? Is my voice lagging or is it just the video? Let me know what you, what you hear out there. Do I sound okay and just the video lagging or is everything, am I stuttering and is the video lagging? Please let me know out there. All right. They go for the combo. Looks like he's going to try to make this one ball and stun it with some draw. That'll pop that seven ball out of there. And leave a shot for the two in the corner. Or tap it, and that's fine too. And you still leave the two in the corner here. I mean inside, which is a very makeable shot. All right, Charles Tucker saying just the video. So is that what you guys are getting out there? Audio seems too good. The video is lagging. Yeah, I don't know why the video is lagging. We just had a match between Tim and Rob Pierce for two and a half hours. It was not lagging. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully it uh, fixes itself over the next few minutes. Because um, there's really not much I can do on my end. All right. And if you see that safety right there, that was a phenomenal safe right there. He really stuck him to this ball. I don't see how he's going to hit this. Um, may, maybe he's left-handed, so he's got to go this way. If he was right-handed, he could probably hit it, go this way. But he's left-handed, so he's got to go the other way, which I think makes the angle harder. And he does just miss it. Not happy with himself, and he sets him up. He says, here, you can shoot it right here in the corner. Jay Garrison, can we have a few more logos on the stream, please? Um, yeah, Jay, if you want to join and be a sponsor and help us out and keep this stream going, I know it's a little laggy right now. We can put your name up there as well. Good question. All right. And Timmy with ball in hand snookers, Rob. Rob's going to probably make this off the rail, but Timmy was trying to leave him past that nine ball makes this ball he should have position unless oh what a roll by there beautiful shot by Rob and a fortunate roll I think he would have had position anyway um, so now Timmy all he has to do is draw this five ball and leave a number six with an angle so Rob can get back for the seven ball like so Rob's gonna have a little bit of stretch here I think he goes some bottom left here and gets by the eight ball he, if he cuts it inside, he has a chance of maybe hitting. Looks like he's going inside, so he's got to be careful not to hit the eight, which he does. And leaving Timmy. A very, very tough shot to get on this eight ball. But Timmy does have the stroke for it. All right. Unfortunately, he misses. Brian Charlton says, boring. Uh, yeah, you can turn off the stream, Brian. <laughs> Sorry about the lagging, my friend. All right. Lucas fires a seven ball eight. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Two point L's get up there. He's not happy. He's on the rail, but he's a very makeable shot with a nice angle. Get position for this nine ball, just like so, perfect. All right, looks like Lucas and Mike Matthew are gonna be up four to one. I don't see Lucas mix, missing this shot. Fires it in. Four 
Four to one race to eleven, guys. Lucas Crossover and Mike Matthew versus Rob Pierce and Tim Levine. All right, guys, I'm still trying. I made one more adjustment. Uh, I actually got off YouTube for a few seconds. Let's see if Facebook uh, by itself will help without a lag. I hate to be off YouTube right now, but let me see how that works. Uh, let me know if that changes at all. Sneeze again, the lagging stop. Very nice, Dirk. Um, I did make a change. I took us off YouTube. So let's see if Facebook is not lagging now. Let me know. Let me know what you think. safe and I think he got him rolled a little bit high but I think that five ball is blocking 2.0 is gonna check it out it's tough to see though we'll see how he lines up yeah he's looking he's got to kick it nice safe um, so what he does here he tries to tie up the five ball he didn't he didn't want to hit it that hard uh, where it was that much room between that and the eight ball he was trying to stick the five close to the eight ball so it would be a harder run, uh, but he left a nice angle. So Rob's just gonna make this inside, draw it back, and uh, play the corner, play the five in this corner, I think. And then it can get out from there. Um, he could also play position for the five eight if he likes too, but you know, they're, they're down four to one. So, you know, they're, like I said, they're not gelling as a team right yet. So they gotta figure out what they wanna do. Do they wanna start running or do they wanna play safe? They have to start committing. So, um, all right. So, like I said, you know, well, he left himself a, a lot of angle here. He's got to be careful. He's got to be careful. Again, he is left-handed. So, I don't know if that helps him or hurts him in this shop. I, I think I might have hurt him. A right-hander would be a little easier. Um, so, and he's going to try to come right here, and he's got to be really careful not getting behind those balls. Because, like I said, he wants to play the 5 8 here. And he's got to be careful with the 6 ball. He does. Oh, that's a good shot by Timmy. All right. I think we're much better, much better on the lag, guys. Let me know. <clears throat> Make sure I'm still sounding okay.
And uh, <clears throat> Rob's got an issue here because he's got the 5-8 and the 8. The 5 is going to stop after it hits the 8 ball pretty much. So he's got to put some right to get the cue ball over here. And he's now shooting this left-handed, so that's going to be even more difficult. Because um, he's got to leave himself a shot for the 5. I think he might play safe here and just just... If he hits the five to the rail, he'll come this way, and he leaves a cue ball right here, he'll be good. But again, he's, he's reaching, he's stretching, he's not feeling comfortable. And um, Jimmy had a tough shot, but it was makeable. He just didn't get the speed he wanted on it. He wanted to leave Rob right about over here, so he would hit a nice, easy combo, and Rob could have just drew it back. So Rob's looking at it, he's going to figure out what he wants to do, and then he's going to make it happen. He's shooting this lefty, by the way. You can tell because he doesn't have his glove on. And now he's going back to righty. You can see he does have his glove on. And he's just not sure if he wants to play the combo or the safe. That's what's going on. So hopefully he commits before he shoots. That's the key. All right, he does play the safe. He plays it a different way than I would have played it. But he's at the table, not me. And it worked out very nice. All right, Lucas is up. I think he can cut this ball on the side. He had a little... Harder than he wanted to, Rob did. And Lucas makes a fantastic shot. And that's why we enjoy watching this game. See these guys make these fantastic shots. It's just almost look easy. Very, very nice. All right, so the lag is gone. Please share the stream again on Facebook. We are going to stay off YouTube for a little while. We'll get the bugs worked out. All right, Lucas is going to make this. He's going to hit it with stop so the ball stays in the side, in the pocket. And leaves him a shot. And now he's just going to come around over here with some left-hand spin. And Lucas will wrap up this nine ball to take a commanding 5-1 lead. All right, Timmy and Rob got to get it together. They are definitely not in sync right now. When they were... Uh, and now there's Dave Longo saying, you guys are killing your actions. Start missing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what they're saying. But uh, they're up 5-1 to one in race 11. Again, this is pretty interesting. I like how they're doing rack with the rack and not with the magic rack. Because the magic rack is, is and believe it or not, part of it is the shark stream that actually gave it up. Because we gave away a lot of the secrets to the magic rack. And people have just been taking the ball and running with it. And they are... Really, really uh, learning how to break with the magic rack. So now we're back to no magic rack. It's a little bit tougher. Uh, he does not make the wing ball, and he does not have a shot on the one, and he doesn't make any ball. So Timmy and Rob have a chance to come back here and make a game of it. They need one of these next couple racks here. They don't want to get too big of a hole, that's for sure. All right, I guess we've got to give a shout-out to 2.0. He's the one that messaged me, and he said... Get off YouTube. There's an issue right now. So that's what we're doing. We're off of YouTube. So we're off YouTube and we are rearing to go. 5 1, race to 11. 4. He might get lucky here or no. Maybe not. Uh, a little hard. And we have four very really good A players playing right now. So. I think Tim and uh, 2.0 are probably low middle A's, and Rob and Lucas are obviously A pluses uh, to open speed. So it should be an exciting match, even though it's a 5 1 deficit right now. Do not count these guys out. All right. 2.0, Lucas trying to pin these guys down. Look at the spin on that one. Not exactly where he wanted to go by any means. Looks like he's going to have to kick this ball. He's pointing to where he wanted it to be. Obviously, it was not there. So... All right, guys, it's Sunday night. Share the stream. Let's get it out there. It's a fantastic match. Tim Levine, Rob Pierce versus Lucas and Mike Matthew. Breaks to 11.
All right, Lucas is getting up. He's going to have to kick this ball. He's kicking to make this combo just like that. Fantastic shot by Lucas. Now 2.0 has got a really, really long shot. He's going to have to, I think he just tries to make this and leaves Lucas a long shot on the five ball. And he's looking right now. If I leave the cue ball right where that three ball is, he should be able to make this five. And uh, I don't think he tries anything funny here. I think he just tries to slow roll this and make it. Leave the cue ball right there. It looks like he might be trying to go around the table now. It looks like he's hitting this. He is. He's trying to go a little hard. I don't think he should have did that. Um, and it might cost him. All right, let's see if Tim, Tim and Rob can put something together. They've been struggling a little bit as partners. They haven't been in sync. Uh, one person will make a shot, and then the other person will get out of position, and then the other person will miss a shot, just not. All right, Rob just makes the shot there. He didn't, couldn't get any crazy position. Leaves Timmy a pretty makeable shot here. He does make it, and he follows it too much. He was obviously trying to stop that to play the five in the corner. Just he's he's off a little bit right now. He's definitely you can see it in his game. He played much better against Rob straight up, uh, but he's gonna have to put it together. And uh, Rob's not gonna sleep on him. He's gonna do whatever he can to keep us in keep him in this game right now. And uh, he makes a great shot. Rob's gonna have it. I mean, Timmy's gonna have a chance here to cut this in, get perfect position for the eight in the side. Uh, left hand it definitely helps him out here. If I was right handed shooting this would be really difficult. This is perfect. He's gonna I think put a little bit of right spin on it. Come around for the eight in the side. And again he came up a little bit short. He wanted to be a little higher. So Rob's gonna have to pull his ball or he just follows it. Yeah, see Timmy wanted to be up here for this eight, so Rob could have just come over here, but he left him a good shot, very makeable. I don't see any issue here. All right, 5-2. We got a game, fellas. Share the stream. The Shark Stream coming at you. Four of the best players in Connecticut going at it. Heads up for a good time. All right, how's the lagging out there? Is the lagging gone? Yes, we got some likes. That means the lagging's gone. Give me some likes. Give me some loves. Give me some shares. Let's get this match going. It's going to be... A fight to the finish. Four Titans going at it. It's like the Avengers right here. These these four guys going at it. There's not a weak link in the bunch. All right. We see some no lags. What else we got? We got any no lags. No lags. Let me hear some no lags. Give me some likes, some loves. Let's go. All right. Down two to five. Breaking. Does make the wing ball. Looking for a shot on the one. Has a shot on the one. Think he can make this in the side. So let's check out the other angle. Oh, from that angle looks a little tough. Again, these cameras can be funny, so he is gonna push, so he definitely doesn't have a shot. Um, I don't know what the deal is. Who goes up next if it's 2.0 or Lucas or how they decide that that's that's on them. This is not a field players league thing that we're doing so All right guys, what do you think you think Rob and uh, Timmy can come back or you think Lucas and Mike take it round and round all the way up start to finish All right, so he goes up there and kicks it in cue ball Almost finds a pocket. So they do. They do let him shoot again. And uh, looks like it was the right call because Lucas has a shot on the one ball. Oh, what he misses it. Puts his cue down and say, how did I do that? All right, Rob's going to get up. He's going to play this right off the rail with a little bit of right spin. Um, he's got two options here. He could roll it to here to leave for the two ball or you can hit it with a lot of sauce but he's got to be careful not to hit those other balls yeah that's what I was afraid of 
and hit the ball hard, but once you hit the nine ball or any other balls, you don't know exactly what's going to happen with the cue ball. So now Timmy's going to have to come down this way and try to hit this ball. And maybe try to two ball up here and try to hit the cue ball back here, which is a really difficult shot, but he really doesn't have much else. Doesn't have much, much else. He's a little hard. If he hit a little softer, he might have had it, but he's going to leave him a wide open shot. Yeah, Mike 2.0 is up. He's going to shoot this two ball. Or I'm sorry, Lucas is up. He's got to avoid. He's got to avoid this five, and he's got to avoid this nine on um, position. And oh, and it's two in a row. Misses by Lucas. Alright, Rob's looking. He has to be careful here. He doesn't want to hit these other balls. He's got to get a position for Timmy. So he's going around it and makes the shot, but position wasn't there. These guys are leaving these guys really weird angles in. All right, and Timmy's got options here to get on this eight ball. He just wants to leave Rob a nice little shot where he can tap it in, do something simple, and he's just going to draw this ball. Cue ball is just going to pop back right here, just like that. Uh, Timmy's just going to make this straight in unless they give it to him. Looks like they're not, so Timmy's going to have to shoot this pretty straight. Fires it. He says, you're going to make me shoot it? Take some of that. All right, and just as we expected, it's going to be a match. There's just too much talent here to be running away. All right, we got a 5-3 match, race to 11. Two great partners, Rob Pierce and Tim Levine versus Lucas Picasso-Werner and Michael Matthew 2.0. Let's give a shout out to our sponsors right now. We got Wayne Harriman, Pool Table Magic, New England Nine Ball Series, K Morgan, Vaculis, JJ Fishbine, Andy Gao, Sigma Wear, Michael's Deli, Agency One, Modern Barber Shop, Jacoby Q's, Ben Strong. All right, how about that for a break? Can't get much better than that, guys. Making a ball, perfect shot on the one. The two's right there in the corner pocket. If you really want to get back into this this set, guys, you got to finish this rack out. All right, looks like he left him straight. He's just going to draw this ball back for either the side or the corner. Um, oh! 
and he jumped it. He miscued. The ball goes flying off the table. So does the cue ball. Now that's ball in hand. And Lucas points to where he wants position. That's a costly rack. It's going to be 6-3 six, six, here, I'm pretty sure. The way it's going. All right, Mike's going to draw this four ball with a little bit of right spin so it doesn't sit on the rail. There is no six ball on the table, so it goes five to the seven. Just like that. Now Lucas is just going to draw this ball back a hair so Michael can draw the seven ball back to get to the eight ball. Draw, draw, draw. <clears throat> That's what happens when you get straight, guys. Once you get rid of the angles, it's a lot more difficult. Because when you're drawing the ball, it's all about the speed. It's not about creating angles and hitting the ball high, left, or right. It's all about speed. All right, Mike's going to hit this with some bottom left. So this ball spins around. It comes over here. Just like so. Now Lucas has two options. He can play in the corner. I think he plays in the side and tries to get the cue ball right over here like that and he hit that really really bad speed you want to be a little harder harder obviously but Michael's gonna make this in the side or at least try to make it in the side I think and if he misses he's gonna leave the cue ball at the bottom rail so it's almost a two-way sh shot he's getting up he's checking it out he's gonna chalk up he just saw your opponents foul on Miss Q and he doesn't want to do that All right, 2.0, lining it up for the side bucket. And he does make it. All right, 6-3. That was not expected. I thought Rob and Tim were going to run that rack with the break that they had. They did not. And 2.0 and Lucas 1.0 capitalize and take a 6-3 lead and race to 11. All right, let me know. How do we sound? Are we lagging? Are we much better? We are off YouTube tonight, unfortunately. Uh, we are lagging on the stream. We don't want to do that. So we are just on Facebook, the shark stream. Coming to you live. All right, Lucas 2.0. What a break there. I'm sorry, Lucas 1.0 breaking. 2.0 is up now. Does not have a shot. Make it will bank shot. Or plays the safe, tries to get behind that ball, does not. And leaves him a one ball, which I don't, if he can't make it, can easily play the safe by rolling the cue ball up past the two ball. It all depends if he can make this one ball. I don't think he can, so he's going to have to roll it. If he wanted to hit a little, little bit harder. A little, little bit harder. What's going on, Roberta? Nothing. Uh, we had a little bit of a lag here issue. We, uh, we had an issue with uh, the stream, I think. Uh, uh -oh. Yeah, I think. Uh, oh, Why'd you a, break it? I, I don't know who I didn't break it. I'm breaking Kim Mo and Timmy. That's why I'm blaming. <laughs> um, nice lead there, but this is a fantastic match between these guys. I think we got it fixed though. Um, doesn't seem to be lagging anymore. That's good. Yeah, the only thing's lagging right now is Timmy and Rob's pool game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, they might be tired. They were playing. They, you know, they played each other twice. So it, it could be because um, he just had a pretty simple two reel hit for Rob, and he does not hit it, and. This table's wide open for Rob. I mean, uh, Lucas uh, 1.0 and Lucas 2.0. So, it's nice and simple. Of course, that's not where he wanted to be. He's, now, Lucas has got to be careful for this nine ball. He may follow and hit it. No, nope, he gets just by it, and he's going to leave Michael straight now. Ooh. I think Mike's just going to try to hit this with a little bit of lock, draw, come up a little bit. the follow stroke 
and gets a nice lead for Lucas. Well done, Mike. Now Lucas is going to play this with some draw and hits it way too hard. Looking for a home run. Now Mike's going to have to cut this ball in the other pocket, I think. So you guys are welcome. This is a Sunday night adventure. You guys get to see a live stream match between 2.0, Lucas versus Rob and Timmy as a bonus coverage on the Shark Stream. So we're very, very happy to show this to you. Oh, Michael says, I can cut it anyway, even though you hit it too hard. Nice save by Michael 2.0. Leaves Lucas over the ball, but that shouldn't be an issue. He can stop this, follow it, and do whatever he wants. Just like that. Let's take it 7-3. He's going to make him shoot it, but I don't see an issue here. These guys are playing really, really good. Mike and... Uh, Michael, Lucas 2.0, and uh, Lucas 1.0 are playing really good. Taking care of Rob and Tim in 7-3. Breaks to 11, they need 4. Rob and Timmy need 11, I mean 8. So they, they're not even on their game, Timmy and Rob. They're just, they're not in stroke right now. They're not in sync. Um, they're missing balls. They're jumping balls the table with ball, with ball in hand. or cue ball uh, miscues and just all over the place where uh, Lucas and Mike are just, on point, you know, one of them messes up position, the other person's bailing them out with a good shot, and that's what partners is all about. Speaking of good breaks, woo wee! Michael run into the shot. He, that was a fantastic break by Lucas. All right, he's gonna follow this to the rail, one rail position on this three ball. He's gonna watch out for that seven. Oh, that's not where you wanted to be. He does not want to leave Lucas on top of a ball. But Lucas can make this. He has a lot of practice with these shots. Um, I remember once we were doing it for a couple hours because he was having an issue with it during a match. And uh, he practiced over a ball for a couple hours. And obviously it helped him. He just made a great shot there. Um, so now 2.0 has a tough shot on the 5 because he's going to be stretching. And now they're talking about how to get position for the 6. Do we want to play the 6-8? Mike and Lucas says, I think you need to draw it back and I'll bank the 6 in the side. So they're discussing it. It's really interesting when you get two good players like this putting their heads together because, you know, even though the game's kind of simple in some ways, it's really not because everybody plays different. So, and uh, like, you know, I don't know if Mike ever would have decided to play for that bank or the cut, uh, but Lucas told him to and he did and this is a very makeable shot here for the break and run for these guys. So, and he does. He fires it in the hole like nothing. And uh, leaves Michael straight in perfect on the seven. Mike's just going to stop this ball, maybe draw back a hair. So Lucas has an angle to get on the eight, nine. And uh, this is a break and run for these guys. All right, two, Michael uh, is going to have a simple shot on this nine ball once Lucas draws this eight ball back. Just like that. This is a break and run. These guys are clicking, man. These guys are clicking. I almost uh, put the score up. I don't want to do that until he makes it. I don't want to come back here and yell at me because I jinxed him. Oh. Uh, did, I, did I jinx him? I had the score ready to go. Now it's seven to four. Costly miss by Michael 2.0. That's the first uh, ball I think I see to miss. And it was a big one. All right, seven four. All right, come on in, come on in on a Sunday night live from the Shark Stream. Checking out a fantastic doubles match between Rob Pierce and Tim Levine versus Lucas Berner and Michael Matthew. You got the wonderful Bobby Hilton in the booth. And we're ready to let your Sunday night go and make it happen. And you can see the fireworks from your couch. All right, Rob Pierce breaking from almost the middle. Firing into the rack. Balls are rolling. Nothing seems to be going towards the pocket. And leaves 
their opponents a shot in the side. He is over a ball, so it's going to be tough for him to get position for this two ball. Um, let's see what he does. Do you think he can draw it with the, with the jack up? Let's see what he does. That's what he's trying to do, folks. He's trying to draw this while jacked up over a ball. He does draw it, but he misses the shot. Now, Tim Levine and Rob Pierce are on the comeback trail. All they have to do is focus, get a couple runs together. Race to 11 is going to come down to the wire. I can feel it. I can feel it. Bruce Evans, scorekeeper's curse. Never blame the scorekeeper, Bruce. Never. Never. All right. There's another big miss by Pierce and Levine. They are just struggling. I mean, they're going to need a couple more nine hangers if they keep this up. They just need to put a rack together, run a couple balls. I mean, put it together, guys. All right. 2.0. He's getting up. He's going to have to come around the table with this cue ball. Or just tap it. And yeah, maybe he can make this three ball, this two ball. I thought the five might be in the way, but I think he's okay. We'll find out. I thought he was going to try to draw that ball and make it come back two rails. All right, let's see if he's got the juice. Nice, a slow roll, but he does not make it. All right. I'm going to go on a limb and say these guys do not run this table. They haven't run a table since rack three. So I'm going to say they cannot run this table. What do you guys think? You guys agree with me out there? Pierce and Levine are just struggling a little bit with the runs. Their position's a little bit off. Um, so let's see. And believe me, I've been known to be wrong. So I'm just thinking I just don't. Don't feel it yet. Let's see if they can switch my mood because I just don't feel it with the way they're playing position is just and making shots is just not conducive to the way they play. All right, little difficult shot here. Well, Timmy's left-handed, so that helps a lot. He's just going to put some left-hand spin. He's got to watch out for the nine ball and the side pocket, which he does avoid both. And now Rob's just going to play this one or two rail position to get on this seven. And uh, leave himself a nice angle for the eight ball. All right, there it is. Nice two rail position. Leaves Timmy nice. Timmy can either follow this to the rail or draw back for position for the eight ball. I think he follows this and uh, plays at one rail position for the eight. And then Rob can figure out what he wants to do with the eight ball. All right, so now Rob... I think with this angle, he has no choice but to go with some bottom right. He's got to avoid both side pockets because he's going to put spin, but he wants to get Timmy down close to the nine. So he's got to watch out. It looks like he may go two rails with the left, which is a safer way so you don't scratch. Great shot. I didn't think he had the angle, but he obviously did and left Timmy perfect. And uh, just like I said, they were going to run this rack, guys. Bobby Hilton comes through again with the call. Saying Rob Pierce and Timmy were going to run that rack. How about that? All right. We got ourselves a game here. 7-5 in a race to 11. Rob Pierce and Tim Levine down by two games in a race to 11. With some fantastic commentation, uh, competition here for this match. Doesn't get better than this. All these A players in one area. Woo-wee. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Nick Lusquet, you heard it here, baby. I called that rack. They ran the rack just like I said they would. I'm glad I got witnesses here. All right, let's see what happens. Now Rob is really checking the rack, so you know what that means. They're really, really focused on winning and winning this rack. You know, if he wasn't, he would have just thrown it up there and put it together. He's obviously racking for himself, looking at the rack to see which way the balls are tight and deciding where to break from. Let's see if it works for him, guys. Perfect break. Makes the wing ball. Makes the one ball on the side and has a shot at the two. Bruce Evans, Rob and Tim win 11-10. Oh, my goodness. That's a bold, bold predicament there, Mr. Evans. All right. Timmy with a fancy shot on the two ball. 
Leaving Rob perfect for the three. I think Rob goes uh, two rails here. Position for this five. He wants to leave a little angle here, so Timmy does not have to struggle with it. All right, or the four. So now he's got to watch out for that eight ball and the side pockets him. All right, so he avoids both of them and leaves Rob a little bit of a tougher shot, but smart play. Now Rob just has to finish this six ball with a little bit of top. Oh, he went around with a little bit of bottom left to get a little fancy. He got a little bit of love tap right there. He was not trying to get position in that pocket, folks. He was trying to get in the other pocket, but Timmy says, I'll take that. Now Timmy can just draw this ball back two rails or stun it with a little bit of center. And uh, it looks like he's going to go maybe a little more angle than I think, but he, he's looking, he's looking. He's figuring out what to do here. So he could go with some left. Go around two rails or uh, go a little bit of right and go one rail. Looks like he's going with the left two rails. He's got to make the shot, though. He does. And he left him very makeable. Not a perfect shot, but very makeable. These guys are out of position in this rack. Um, so far, they're making balls coming through. Um, and their position is just a little bit off. All right, they are coming through now as partners. This is what we talked about earlier, folks. It's about coming together, playing as a team. What's going on, Roberta? Nothing much. Checking in. Checking in. Checking yeah. in. Um, so what's going on here is Timmy and Rob are coming back. Oh, wow. That's definitely different from when I was in here last time. Yeah, I mean, that last rack they just played, uh, they were out of whack on position a couple times. Um, but they really pulled together as a team. They both pulled each other out with some good shot making. Nice. I feel like it could be anybody's game at this point. Absolutely. And uh, the best thing about pool is you're winning. Your opponent is on the f chair. They can't win from the chair. <laughs> no, they cannot. No, nope, cannot win from the chair. All right. And another fantastic break by, break by Rob. Oh, oh, what a terrible kiss that was. He got a fortunate roll the two did tie up so it's not going to be that easy of a run out and i think they go for the breakup here he's going to put an angle on here oh. and uh the cue ball is going to come over here and break up the two just like that what a great shot by lucas <laughs> Nick says, wait, what? You can't put 2.0 on the stream. It'll kill his action. Listen, if 2.0 wins, it's only because Lucas carried him. Everybody knows Luke. Uh, <laughs> 2.0 is a C-plus at best. All right. Nice shot by Mike 2.0. And he leaves Timmy, I mean, uh, Lucas a shot on this three ball, but he's got to sauce it to get back. Just like that. Sauce. Nice angle for 2.0. He drew that a little too hard. See that, Roberta? I did. He did not want to be that far. But Lucas is, is very capable of cutting this ball in. I was going to say, that that's like a walk in the park for Lucas. I don't know about a walk in the park, but... Oh, and <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what? That's a commentator's curse. That's the commentator's <laughs> curse you're learning. That was Roberta, guys. That was not Bobby Hilton. <laughs> All right. He's, he's got to make this. And perfect position. All right, these guys going to tie it up. It's not going to get better than this. Pull no. a chair. Come on, let's watch the rest of the match. Right. It's exciting. All right. Oh, he, he, oh my God. I'm going to replay that if we got a replay here. This ball, this ball literally just. All right, my replay is not working that well. Look at that. Look at that seven. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, my goodness, folks. All right. Are you kidding me? Roberta left, and they were getting smoked, right? Yeah, and now it's all tied up. Well, just so you know, I, I've been calling it. Ask Nick Bousquet. Every, ma every rack I, I call comes out exactly how I call it. 
Ain't that right, Nicholas Bousquet? <laughs> if I say they run out, they run out, right? All right, the crowd's growing in here and out there. We got a 7-7 <laughs> seven, seven match. Race to 11. So they need four games each. And again, you got Bobby Hilton and... Roberta Beekman. Roberta Beekman here. Coming to you live from the Shark Stream to get the end of this fantastic matchup. All right. You know what I noticed, Roberta? They're not doing the magic rack anymore. No. So they're racking themselves. But they are now learning the rack. They're making walls now. So they're learning how to rack and where to hit them from um, as the match goes on, which is that's good to see. All right, Rob plays oh. a great safe. Sticks him right on that two ball. What was the score? I think it was 7-2, right? Or 7-3? Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three. Seven, yeah, 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three. Wow. 7-7 seven, seven now. Now these guys are playing like a unit, and 2.0 and 1.0 have to get their stuff together, or they might lose this match. All right. Oh, That's not is... good for 2.0. Nope. Got a little lucky there, because now oh, that that ball's tough down there. Now, do you think Tim will try and put the one in the side, or? I think he's gonna he's gonna try to. They're worried about the seven ball right here. Is that the seven ball or is that the four ball? I think that's a four ball. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But that's the ball they're worried about. Yeah, he's just gonna make this in the side, in the cue and ball. And leave it for the two. Yeah, leave it for the two. And they're thinking now, it's like, how am I going to get from here to there? Mm. I mean, you could leave it in a position to go off the rail, right? Yeah. That's going to that, be the only option? Yeah, that's, that's what he's going to... I mean, I'm not sure how he's going to do it. He's looking how to get position to either break this up or to play a combo or a really good safe. Um, so it looks like he's playing for the combo. Yep. All right. This is, you know, so now he can play this combo, or Timmy can play the safe and play this right there and leave the cue ball behind the eight. He plays the combo, makes the Man. combo, and I think he left Rob enough to make this ball on the side. This is the difference, though, between the way they're playing now and the way they were playing earlier. When they were against each other instead of working together as a team. Yes, they yep. were. Absolutely. The, the other person would get a bad position, and then the other person would miss the shot. Now, if they get out of position, the other person makes a good shot, and they're really saving each other right now. They're playing well as a team. I mean, that just shows how mu how well they both know the game. Yep. Yeah, Lucas trying to save here, I think. Oh, he tried for the bank. He went for the bank and got oh, it. Oh, wow. Wow, great shot, Lucas. Really, really good shot. All right, looks like 2.0, and Lucas got a really good chance to finish this here. I think he makes this ball, and he tries a cue ball, like right about here for this six ball. He's got to worry about the scratch, but... As long as he doesn't hit that hard, I think he's going to be all right. The key to this shot is just making the shot. And if he hit, if he wants to try hitting it hard, he can draw out this rail and come back one rail. Depends on how much angle he has. But, yeah, that's, that's the first way was the best way. Now, Lucas is just going to draw nice this Lucas, ball back yeah. right here. Leave. 2.0. Now, Lucas has got to be careful he doesn't hit the 7 ball, because that will be a foul if he hits it. I, know no, I, I was going to say, he's going to get the bridge, right? Or He's going to shoot lefty. He, he does have an extension. He, he probably should try to use that instead, but he's not even trying. He's just going to go lefty. And he's a great lefty player. I mean, when you get as good as him, you have to gamble with other people. You have to make other games. So he has to play left-handed sometimes. I can't do anything left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird because they're both playing with one righty, one lefty partner. Mm. Which is different. Oh, that's a very fortunate roll right there. 
very makeable. He was not trying to hit that nine ball. Because when you're playing a position, you never want to hit balls. And you never know which way they're going to roll. But that's why Mike is a C player. Yeah. All right. Taking the lead, eight not to bad. seven. On that note, I'm going to go home and ice my knee. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if you acted your age, you would, yeah, you would no be more, in pain. Yeah, no more slip and slides. <laughs> All right. Have All right. Night, Bobby. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. see you tomorrow. Roberta Beekman's leaving. Bobby Hilton's here staying with you to the end. We got a great match here, 8-7. to seven. Race to 11. 8-7. to seven. Race to 11. 8. Ding, 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 ding. Two point is really looking at the rack now. All right, going for the break. Three racks to win. Rob and Timmy need four racks to win. Who's going to pull it out? Very, very awful break. Does not have a shot. Does not make a ball. Does not. Does not do anything. Oh, it plays a pretty decent safe. All right, and we got another announcer in here. Who, who, who do we got here? Who's in the booth now? Hi, Shark, Shark Stream viewers. I'm Paul Mucci. I work here at Yale Billiard. I'm here to watch. <laughs> here to watch, huh? <laughs> um, is it Mucci? Or uh, it, it, Mew, it, 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 is Mucci. it is Mucci. So Mucci. Not the Mucci Qs. Not the Mucci Qs. It's really Mucci. close, though. It's pretty close, yes. Really close. So those of you guys who don't know Paul, he is an employee of Yale Billiards. He's a, a cook. He does a front counter. Uh, he's also being a teacher, studying to be a teacher, right? Correct. And uh, he's also qualified for the Joss event also. Congratulations on that. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if you're watching this. This is a fantastic matchup. These are uh, four of the best players around and uh, really, really good players. Have you been watching it all while you were working, or you were kind of cleaning up? Uh, a lot of my focus was on cleaning up because oh, okay. I, you know, I like to try and make sure I do a good job for you. But uh, all right, I appreciate that. Past past five minutes, I've been watching you know, yeah. the, sh the shots that I I see them taking. Uh, oh, look at that! So yeah, these guys are uh, fantastic. Uh, Lucas and uh, Mike 2.0 uh, took a big lead, and Rob and Timmy came storming back. They just tied at seven seven, and and now Lucas and Mike just took the lead. 8-7 in a race to 11. So it's anybody's game right now. I certainly never count out anybody, you know, in a match because, you know, games turn around just like that. Absolutely. And that's a good save by Michael. He was very, very good shot because he needed to be behind that ball because he was over here. And Timmy would have had a shot at that one ball. So now Timmy's going to have to go this way uh, to try to hit this ball, which is a very makeable hit. And what Timmy's going to try to do is hit it so the one – you see, he, I think he hit that. He shouldn't have hit that that hard. Obviously, frustration. He hits the ball out, um, you know, and hopefully he talks to Rob a little bit about that because he could have tried to just hit the one and leave the one over here behind the balls instead of trying to, to whack it to make, to, I don't know if what he was whacking it for, trying to make something, but that, that wouldn't help the cause right there. But uh, now Mike and 2.0 have a chance to make some noise. Try to take a two-game lead in a race to 11. And all the balls are pretty well spread out, so they can easily play position on anything they want. Oh, oh, oh anything. We got really lucky right there because if that he does not hit that five, it the hides. ball's right behind the five ball. So he's he's thanking his lucky stars right now. And you can saw the reaction when, it, when the cue ball was rolling that way. He didn't wasn't happy about it. Uh, but this is no easy pickings because th th this five ball is next. So that's that's a tough shot. Natural I mean, angle on the on the four is going to push it away from the five. Yes, yes, cue ball is definitely going to, and he's going to draw it. Looks like he's going to just slow it down, leave Lucas a tough shot. He's not going to have a full pocket to make this. Um, but
but Lucas is a good shot. He can probably make this, but he, this is not a tough, not an easy shot on the tight table. He does make it, gets a nice position for the six ball. All right, now 2.0 can either come one rail position for the seven, or he can put left on it to come two rails. So it all depends on what he's feeling like. Looks like he's going right. He's going to play one rail position. So key here, he does not want to be straight on this seven ball. He wants to leave, and he did. So he left Lucas an angle so Lucas can put some left spin on it. Make the cue come up here for the eight ball. And if it was straight, it would have been a lot tougher. He's looking inside in case he hits it too hard, but I'm pretty sure he's going to play it for the corner. I don't think he's going to. Just like that. Now all Mike has to do is draw it back. It's always a pleasure to watch these juggernauts uh, <laughs> on the table you know, shoot because you, you can uh, try, if at least a, a person at a low rank like me, you try to anticipate, oh, what's he going to do? And sometimes you get it right, sometimes you're like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> and, yeah. You know, it's something complete that's a lot better uh, actually happens than what you originally planned. Yeah, that's, that's the learning curve. And uh, believe me, these guys have shot these shots millions of times. It's the reason why they're they're where they are. I mean, here they are running a rack, and it left Lucas a you know, longer shot, but very makeable. Lucas is very comfortable shooting that shot. And a two-game lead for uh, Lucas 1 and Lucas 2.0. Pretty, pretty entertaining, right? Yeah, I like this room. I didn't even know it existed until like a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is it. Uh, make sure you like us on uh, Facebook and uh, follow us on YouTube. And uh, who was it who won the pop-up tonight? Um, was it Darren? Uh, Darren yes. Jevons, right? Yeah. Darren Jevons. Uh, congratulations, Darren Jevons. We've got another entry into the Joss. The competition's getting tougher and tougher. These guys are pretty good that are winning these pop-ups. I'll be lucky if I win one match in that, but the experience, really, I'm going into it. I, I say to myself, if I win one game in that event, you know, I'll walk home happy. Absolutely. Um, I mean, uh, we were talking about this earlier on the Shark Stream, you know, but what other sport can you play in a pro event with? Can, can You can't go to the uh, Travelers and play in the pro event. You can't, you know what I mean? You can't exactly. go to the NBA and say, I want to play some three-on-three. Three. Right. This is one of the only sports where you can actually play with the pros. So we're pretty lucky in that in that aspect, I think. Um, Lucas did a great break, uh, or Mike did a great break. I'm sorry, I was talking. I'm not sure who who broke, but it was a fantastic break. They made the wing ball, and now they're running out. Everything looks pretty simple. He's going to just draw this ball back. Uh, <clears throat> now the key for Lucas is he's got to get position for this six ball. Um, so he's going to uh, put a lot of spin on this ball. The five, oh, the five, I'm sorry, the five ball. It's a lot of, lot of draw on that stroke. Now, this is going to be tough for Mike because he's left-handed. If he was right-handed, this is an easy shot. Because he's lefty, it's going to be a little more difficult. Yeah, see, that's why he, he's thinking, it's like, oh, man. The righty, you just get up there and, and draw it back. Lefty, you have to reach and stretch, and he's trying to get the ball back here. Being right-handed, it wouldn't be an issue, but lefty, it's going to be a little tougher for him. But he's a good player. He knows how to reach. He knows how to get to these shots. Dave Verner is watching. The proud pop of Lucas Verner. What's going on, Dave Verner? All right, here he is. He's reaching left-handed. He's trying to draw back. He does, he does, he does. It's perfect. That's a perfect shot by 2.0. And again, he's going to have to try to roll this up here now with a little bit of left spin. So he can come right here for this 8-ball. Uh, look at that. Is that right on my line or what? Pretty, pretty good? Close. That is pretty good. A little hard, though. A little hard. That's on his part, not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now 2.0 is an issue. Does he want to draw this ball to the rail? Or does he want to follow? I think he draws it, but if he follows it, he can tap the 9. Yeah, see, Lucas wanted to be here so he can just follow and stop, but he hit it a little too hard. So now 2.0 is going to have to hit this ball with a lot of draw to make the cue ball come over here. The nine ball, and that's what he's looking at. And he just yelled at him, he's like, You're supposed to be over here. <laughs> that's what he just said to him. 
I can think. I think he is. It's on point. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what he said, but. All right, he's going for the draw. He does not want to leave Lucas on the rail, but that's not going to be an issue, I don't think. Uh, he hit a little, well, he hit it a little hard, but perfect. Very nice. Very nice. I thought he would be more controlled, but he felt more comfortable getting position for that ball that way. All right, Lucas wins another rack. Lucas 1.0 and Lucas 2.0. They're on the hill, as we call it, Paul. I look forward to seeing the end of this. It still can be anybody's game. You know, Rob and Tim, they're great shots, and they can come back. Absolutely. They were down by five racks earlier, and they, can, they come back to tie it up. So, you know, they just got to have a chance to get on the, on the, on the move, you know. Breaking for the hill, trying to finish the match off. And again, we want to thank all you guys for following us on the stream. And uh, we're sorry about the lagging with the YouTube. We're going to get that taken care of. And uh, you guys got to see some great matches tonight on a Sunday night with the Rob Pierce Timmy uh, matchup. And then obviously with these this partner matchup. So we're very fortunate today. I'm very happy. What a great break by Michael. Not only did he make the one ball. He leaves Lucas a perfect shot for the two ball. Now Lucas just has to avoid avoid the 5 eight to get position on the three ball. Everything else is wide open. And he did just that. Nice, nice kiss. And it's not as easy as I thought, though, because he's he's got a weird angle now. So the cue ball is going to come this way. He's got to watch out for the nine. And if he draws it, He's got to be careful he doesn't draw it in the corner. So I think he's going to have to try to draw it off this rail because he's going to have to do it hard because he's got to be careful that nine ball in the scratch shot. So he's going to have to draw it just like he did with that eight ball. Oh, he missed it. Other oh, corner? Yeah, wow. Oh, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Look at him. Lucas jumped up. He's like, I'm not proud. <laughs> he just jumped right up. And the guilt, the guilt worked. He just felt so bad that they crapped that ball and sometimes they... All right, Timmy and Rob having a chance. Having a chance. Let's see what they can do. They need this rack, obviously, to keep themselves alive. Playing it safe. Trying to get that cue ball behind that mess over there. And tucking that four ball nicely in there. I think he might be able to see this. And if he does, he might play this nine ball. He's going to hit the cue ball off this with some left spin to come here. And then the nine ball in the corner. He does have to call it. but And if he makes this, it's just an unfortunate roll on a good safe that we just saw enough of it. Yeah, see, he can see he's, the cue ball is going to go that way. The question is, is he going to hit it with enough spin to make the nine or not? That's the million-dollar question. He did hit it. He did hit the nine and got a great leave. That was not played. He's just trying to make the nine ball. A very fortunate leave. So now Timmy is going to have to kick this ball. I don't think he fires this. I think he just. You know, he's gonna it's gonna be tough for him to get on this five anyway. He he's probably better off just hitting it so when it roll hits here, this rolls and the cue ball will crawl over here. You know, because if he makes it, if the cue ball can be behind the nine, he's gonna be stuck. But either way, it's it's no easy shot. He's gonna have he's gotta work it out for him. And as you see, you can see Timmy's beautiful uh, Jacoby cue. 
explain with this uh, beautiful carbon fiber shaft on it. Alright, he fires at it. And looks like they can see the four into the corner. Right? Yeah, he's got that. This is the only sh trouble they have here is trying to get over here or over here for this ball. That's the only problem they have. Uh, it's, that was a the problem. There's still, this is going to be tough too because with the angle ball, the cue ball is going to go this way. It's going to want to go this way. So they have to be over here for the six ball. So he doesn't have to go two rails or play a safe like that. So it's a two-way shot. He played trying to make it. If we make it, he has perfect position. If he misses, he leaves a miss. What's going on, everybody out there on TV land? What do you think? Rob and Timmy going to come back? I know a couple of predictions were 11-10 earlier. Right now we're at 10-7. All right, Rob, going for the jump shot. Oh, I think it's past Rob's bedtime. I'm going to call it right now. Lucas in 2.0. Lucas 1.0 and Lucas Michael 2.0 is almost over. So he's going to put a lot of right hand spin on this ball to try to come back over here for the sixth ball. It was a very unfortunate miscue on the jump. Yes. All right, so he's decided to go a different route, so he's going to go this way. He's going to either sneak behind it or put a little less reverse so it comes in front of it. All depends on how he wants to play it. Or draw it. There you go. That's another way of doing it. Never liked to draw on that shot, but worked out pretty good. Now, Michael's going to have to draw this straight back. He's got to worry about not drawing it too much. He doesn't want to be behind this eight ball over here. And if he follows it with a lot of high right, I think that might be the way to go. Have a better chance, but it's a, it's almost a straight shot. Depends how straight it is. That's the way I. It was very straight, but that's what he was trying to do. The way I drew it up. Um, and that's why I don't like to draw with the shot that Lucas made because you don't have really control. You're just kind of hitting it hard and trying to get in that area. Or if you play high position, you can play almost pinpoint position on it. But Lucas can make shots. See what happens. He rattles it in and leaves Michael in a nice shot on this eight ball. Michael's going to put a little bit of right hand spin, come over here, and leave Lucas right here uh, for the championship rack. I don't know if he's going to put that much left on it, but look at that. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? It's a good shot. Yeah. Damn straight and in shot there straight for Straight in shot for Lucas. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us on this special event on this Sunday night. And we are going to give you guys our sponsors before we go. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. We enjoyed giving it to you. Uh, don't forget to come on down tomorrow for Monday Madness at Yale Billiards. We're going to have a free buffet at 6 o'clock. So if you want to come down and get something to eat and play in our Monday Madness, please do that. And uh, you can see all of our sponsors. Without our sponsors, we would not be here. And uh, we really appreciate it. And I see you guys are saying you shared. I'm getting the likes and the loves. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you very much. Uh, we put a lot of effort into it. I've been behind this mic for five hours <laughs> tonight. Uh, luckily, Roberta brought me a soda. I appreciate Roberta and Paul coming here to join us, help us out. Of course. Thank you. And, uh, <clears throat> of course, all our sponsors and, of course, our players. we got Lucas 2.0 and uh, Michael. I mean, well, Lucas 1.0 and, and Michael Lucas 2.0 and Timmy Levine and Rob Pierce. Thank you guys for entertaining pool, and uh, we'll be seeing you guys soon. Thank you for all your support. This is Yield Billiards. See you guys tomorrow. Goodbye, Paul. Bye, Bobby.